We've talked many times about why you might want to switch away from Windows, and we've identified a lot of interesting things they've been doing, from cramming ads everywhere, and yes, they're still going, to forcing you to have data encryption and storing those keys online so that mm, anybody who might come by with a no inform gag order warrant might be able to gain access to the encryption keys to decrypt your drive. Very interesting indeed. But there is yet one more thing that they are doing, which I think is even one of the worst ever. And we will talk about that today. Thanks for checking out this video from Switched to Linux. And today we are going to talk about, indeed, Windows has possibly turned on your OneDrive without your knowledge and consent. So we're going to be talking about this as one of the reasons why you might want to consider switching to Linux for some things, or at least taking back some full control over your computer. So today we're going to talk about these, but if you like this type of content and you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. And you can also leave us a like and a comment down below, or hey, maybe a dislike down below if you would like. But today we're going to talk about these issues and what the big issue is. Now, first and foremost, what is going on here? Well, it looks like Microsoft is trying to force people into utilizing their systems exactly the way they want their systems to be used, not giving you the choices or the ability to do the things you want. You see, they're slowly tweaking things, removing all of the possible ways you can create your Windows computer without creating an internet-based account tied directly to their servers. So you go out to the store, you pick up a shiny new computer because you need one, you take that thing home, you cannot set this up without getting on the internet. Now, right now, there's still a couple of ways around that. We have identified some of those. Some people are saying some of those ways are now gone. Other people are saying some of those are still there. But the point remains, they're trying to remove your ability to set up your computer and turn it on without you being connected to their company servers. Of course, if you're connected to their company servers, they can store all sorts of data about you, but it carries with it even one more thing we need to be concerned about. You see, one of the things that is showing up in a lot of lawsuits right now is that IP address. You see, if you think, uh, or some company thinks that you're torrenting their files and they like do an IP address um, uh, warrant, the problem with that happens to be legally, you still cannot identify the person who is at the other end of that. It could have been any one of a number of people at that IP address. It could have been a random stranger walking down the street who connected to an insecure Wi-Fi password. But if the warrant information specifically seeks this particular person, it doesn't matter if they have the IP address, they have you logged in and data collected on your account. Now, the problem we have with this isn't that you're gonna be out there doing illegal things. You might be saying, I, I have nothing to hide, I'm not doing anything illegal. The problem is, is that we are turning into a world that is really radically one side or the other. And once it gets one side or the other, the question depends who is in power to determine what is lawful and what is not. And when you tie all this stuff in to a giant corporation, a global national corporation with a lot of defense contracts and a lot of no, um, uh, no inform warrants and gag order based warrants, it begs a lot of questions. I would like to keep as much of my information, my life as private as possible. And I do not want all of this information tied directly into this particular user with this particular account with this particular company when all I'm trying to do is simply go get a computer and use a computer without tying everything back to that company. Now, part of the things that they're doing is they're pushing all sorts of ads at people to get them to use the services if they're not, to get them to increase their space if they are cramming internet ads all over the place in the core of the operating system itself. You can't open up your file manager without finding an advertisement for something. You'll get a random notification to turn on OneDrive. Well, they're dealing with that in this particular uh, article here today. Because this one from Tweaktown, uh, Microsoft caught turning on automatic OneDrive folder backup in Windows 11. 
This is an interesting one because what they're trying to do is make all of these setups happen on their system. And as you set up your computer, it's saying, we recommend this, we recommend this, we recommend this. So they are forcing you to encrypt your drive. They're storing access to your decryption keys in your account. They're forcing you to get on the internet, which in itself is tied to a certain amount of data space uh, available. And now they are, once you are now logged in all of that, they are now turning on the automatic OneDrive. Now I will remind you that the way they're transferring data from your computer to them is end-to-end -end encrypted. That does not mean it's stored encrypted on their servers. It is not. It is not zero knowledge encryption, which means any Microsoft employee with access, now let's say the worst case scenario, it is a rogue employee who has access can literally be scooping through your files to see what's there. But let's assume everybody happens to have good intentions and some police officer comes in and says, hey, I'm researching this bank heist and uh, this Google account was tied to this Microsoft account. We need to see all of the information in this particular person's account. Well, now what ends up happening is you have a situation where you're just going on your morning jog, which your morning jog happens to run you by a bank every morning at 7.30, an hour before the bank opens, and they look at that and say, well, that seems pretty suspicious. This one guy seems to move by that bank every day. He must be casing the place. No, you're just you know running from the fat that's accumulating around your center belly. But the reality is they, have, they don't know that. They just peg you as a suspect, and now they can comb through all the data. With the OneDrive automatically being turned on, what this means is everything in those core folders that you have, that is your uh, your desktop, I think they forgot a comma here, your desktop folder, your pictures, your documents, your music, and your videos, all of that will automatically sync to your OneDrive account. That is what they are saying at this point in time. Now. What this means is that while it is encrypted in transfer, a person has a harder time to see what it is in transit. When it rests finally on their servers, they have access to that data. Whether it's for a bogus warrant, for a legitimate warrant, or for a rogue employee, people can get on and see what's on there. Now, if you wanna use OneDrive for syncing some things, that's perfectly acceptable, that is your choice. However, when you lack the choice by them going in and saying, we're just gonna turn this stuff on for you, how wonderful. They go ahead and do that kind of stuff for you and then what ends up happening is now your data that you did not want to send to Microsoft, tied to you, tied to your biometric information, is now stored on their company servers and you didn't even know about it. So that is what is going on in this article. Microsoft has been pushing Windows users to conform to the operating system in a way they intend or as the setup states, in a way the company recommends. To achieve this goal, Microsoft has made increasingly more difficult for users to dodge the services, which the large majority depend on the operating system having a Microsoft account. Excuse me, the using the person using the operating system having a Microsoft account. So what they're doing here, let me see if I can load these images. We have really bad internet right now. But you can see over here, sync and protect your folders. By default, what's happening is all of these have been turned on. That is what uh, this person is alleging. All right, so what we're seeing here is in this report from a NeoWin user, Microsoft has seemingly been caught quietly changing the setup for Windows 11 in new devices, particularly with OneDrive. The company's cloud storage service, according to the user Microsoft, has now automatically enabled OneDrive folder backups without asking the user's permission, meaning folders, uh, these folders we mentioned earlier, will automatically sync to the user's OneDrive account. Previously, users could receive a, uh, would receive a Windows notification asking if they would like to turn on the automatic folder backup in OneDrive, not something exactly that needs a notification, I will point out. Your notification is supposed to be some reminder, not some advertisement. Just an FYI, uh, which is actually quite a good feature when used correctly. The article says, however, appears from reports, Microsoft just turned on the feature without asking anyone or letting anyone know, which has resulted in many users reporting their desktops filling up with green check marks indicating uh, uh, next to files and shortcuts verifying those folders have been uploaded. So you can stop it by going into your OneDrive area, 
go to syncing and backup, manage backup, turn off all the folders you do not want to. And if you have other uh, full, um, if you have an older OneDrive version with a classic tabbed interface, you can go in there and make those changes as well. The problem we have here, of course, as I said, is now that without your consent, they are taking your data and putting it on their servers where they have access to it, their employees have access to it, and everybody else they want to give access to that also has access to that information. What are they doing with it? This is a question. This is a really big deal. This is one of the biggest deals that we have mentioned on this channel and one of the big reasons why I think that we should really seriously consider making a solid switch to Linux and no matter what the situation you're thinking. I mean, this is insane. This is totally insane. You switch over to Linux and you have a lot more control. You have a lot more choice. If you still do need cloud stuff, you can still sync OneDrive accounts with Linux, but they're never going to turn themselves on automatically. You always have the choice. You always have the control. And in which case you can still utilize those features if you want to without risking every single file in your computer magically going up over to the internet and resting on their servers because they want to be able to see what all you have and have a record of it. And I'll note that even if you go in and you're like, well, I didn't want that. And you go ahead and you delete all the stuff. That stuff is not deleted. They still have a record of all that stuff, whether that's good or bad. I'm not saying that it's something really evil and nasty and bad, but you know, what if you have obscure Bible translations over there and the powers that be come to become crazy people who don't want anybody reading any such things. And now they start issuing arrest warrants. You say, well, that's crazy. Well, that does happen in several countries in this world right now. So it's not too far fetched or too crazy. Just keep that in mind. Switching to Linux and you will have ultimate control over things. You will be able to say, yes, I want this feature. No, I do not. This is why I think you should at least try out Linux. If you're not going to run it long term, at least you can give it a try and see what it would do for you. With that, thank you guys for watching. I'll leave you with a video on converting my Windows 11 computer to a uh, Linux Mint computer. And uh, you can go ahead and see what that process entails. With that, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.